Hey, what's up? Brick a brack here. Now, I was at the market today, the open open air market. This lady sells old vintage toys and often sells Lego. So I've got Lego of this person before. Got a little haul today, so I'll share that tomorrow in tomorrow's video. But I just want to talk a little bit about some of the things she's got there at the moment, which are absolutely incredible. She has got original 1970s Lego boxed, sealed, brand new condition, never been touched, never been opened, been bought, taken away, stored away by whoever actually owned it, and never touched. And um, this person's obviously passed away. And uh, this person who runs the market has done a um, house clearance, what's called a house clearance. That's what it is, a local government, they basically send out an email to anybody who does our house clearances and then they get the first dibs if you like on basically you basically they get a paid a fixed sum of a hundred pounds or something like that to go and clear the house and whatever's in there take it away deal with it put it in a skip or take it to landfill or take it and potentially find anything valuable to sell it's a very lucrative business and uh, this woman's come across all sorts of things, from old uh, Tonka, Tonka toys to, well, um, cars worth hundreds of, hundreds of pounds. And one of the things she gets quite often is Lego. Now, now, I told her, please, can you make a video of you sorting this stuff out? She's got several things she's doing at the moment. She's got all these vintage sets, like the ones you see on the screen here. She had a few of those on the market today, which sold. Um got two of these car sets 130 pounds each but what interested me quite a lot and i was almost tempted to buy it but some of them some other gentlemen took it instead were these two original maxi sets and they have like an outer casing on them pulled the casing back on one of these boxes and inside was um, cupboards sinks a bath and the original maxi figure in absolute perfect immaculate condition like new condition like nobody has seen sets like that since the 1970s with their own eyes and that was quite an incredible experience rushed standing up after work trying to look at these sets and the person said oh, i'm buying those i said but do you mind if i just have a have a look at that so I took it pulled that cover back on thought i just looked at him and thought oh wow I wish I had my camera with me. So next time I'm going to go there with my camera. I might even bring a, bring a white sheet with me. And I need to capture, get some video of these amazing vintage 70s sets. Um, it's, probably big, it's probably going to be some that I might want to buy. It's just, it's just, just incredible, really. And uh, so... It's, Really interesting things uh, this woman does with Lego. I said to her, you know, based on the moment she's trying to sort out 300, 300 Star Wars minifigures, random minifigures, to send to Australia for £3 each. I said, oh, please record a video of that. You have to record a video of that. She goes, how the hell am I flipping hell going to have time to record a flipping video for you? I'm so busy trying to do all this. I said, oh, please do a video. It'd be amazing. She goes, no. So, I'm going to have to capture whatever I can of her and her amazing Lego. I mean, 1970s, sets like these here, opened up, I mean, sealed. I mean, what's interesting, a lot of these boxes that are sealed, you can't see the contents contents inside because they're vacuum sealed. But this maxi set had an outside layer of cardboard. And as you opened it up, it had like a plastic inside, which you could see through and see all the parts. Incredible. I think they went for £35 each. But yeah, absolutely incredible. So I'm going to try and capture as much as I, much as that as I can for the channel, because it's just amazing. You know, never seen these things before in my own eyes. So crystal clear and brand new like that. Amazing. I mean, part of it's because it, what, what brings amazing, amazement and all, because I've seen these parts all scratch, a little bit scratched up, you know, when I've got them in halls, but seemed like that brand new in the box this is something that was that existed before i was born 
in the 1970s, original sets, crystal clear, white, or, you know, colours, perfect coloured, literally like a brand new set. But yeah, I'm going to try and capture as much as, I, much as that as I can and bring that to you as soon as possible. Yeah. Amazing.